There's a brand new article out in the Wall Street Journal, and it is probably the most insane article you're gonna read in all of 2022. Now, of course, this article breaks down that there are 477 workers employed by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and their job is literally to go to small businesses, grocery stores, and corporations, and simply write down on a piece of paper or on a tablet, what's the price of various goods at those stores? Now, when they go and do this, there's a lot of complexity involved. Imagine going to the grocery store and having to help measure and but your job is to go find soup, but make sure that it's not low sodium or high sodium, that it's no sodium soup. And you got to make sure you get the right brand and you've got to get the right number of ounces. And so, of course, there is human error. And in the 21st century, we're counting on individuals with a tablet or a pad of paper to go into stores, try to find in the entire grocery store the one product and then write down what the price is and track that month over month over month. This is absolutely insane. On top of that, as they're doing this, they end up not only making mistakes, but they also necessarily have no audits. There's no checking of these individuals or their work. All they do is we simply blindly trust them. That's not exactly the way that I want my inflation calculated. In the article, they talk about how shop owners, business owners, and various employees at different establishments, they continue to say that prices are out of control, their supply chains are completely disrupted, and there's no relief on the way. This is the perfect example, is that when you have bad data, and you actually use that to make your analysis, you end up making bad decisions. The fact that in the 21st century, we have people physically walking through stores and writing things down is insane. Take something like shelter. Right now, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they literally call on the phone and they ask people, hey, what's your rent? Hey, how much is that house worth? Now compare that to something like Zillow or apartment.com, which has 100 million plus data points. And in real time, they see the adjustment on various prices and where the market is actually clearing or where people have their asking price. Of course, Zillow and apartment.com and many other providers, even companies like Square, they have way more data. It's real time and it is verifiable. I much rather trust the technology technology companies than the individuals walking through the grocery store with a pad of paper or a tablet manually inputting numbers. We have to build a better system. We have to stop trusting the CPI number. It's a manipulated number that's based on human error. And of course, the Federal Reserve, they're simply just using the data that they have available to them. If we get better data, we'll get better analysis, which leads to better decision making. But until we get better data, we have bad data, which leads to bad analysis, which leads to bad decision making. And that means that you at home, the average American individual, that's why there's eight and a half percent inflation and it's not going away because ultimately nobody knows what the real number is. Nobody knows what they need to do or how extreme the response should be. We're looking at bad data and therefore you can't solve a problem until the data improves.